Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at Complete Internet Repair. It does exactly what it says it's going to. It's not too tough to use. We're going to show you how to use it. It would very much help if you knew what your problem was and had some experience before you mess around. As you can see, before you start, create a system restore point in case they have a problem. There are other things you can do that really depending on what your problem is a lot of this has to do with maybe you got malware or a program screwed up your firewall there's there's different things in here for different situations you should know if your cards not working right another option would be in your device manager to come under here where your network adapter is I've done this occasionally and uninstall it assuming you have the driver you may need it reboot and let Windows redetect the card sometimes that'll fix your problem this has nothing to do with problems with your internet it has nothing to do with problems with your network card it's specific to more than likely a malware infection if you've ever had one a lot of times they break your internet a lot of uh, stuff is known for that so that you have to call tech support for help those fake tech support stuff along that lines that said it's pretty easy to use just be careful of these arrow buttons here if you don't know what it is you don't know what your problem is you're not sure if renew internet connection is your problem you can click the information and it will tell you a little bit more about what it does. Uh, the windsock gives you a little bit more information that might narrow down what exactly your problem is. I do not recommend you check all of these. I recommend you check what your problem is. Once again, let's say I want to repair my windsock. I know that's what my problem is. I can check it and I can keep working my way down until I find whatever problem I think I have and through the information until I got everything that I think I want to run and then I can click go optionally if you know exactly what your problem is again let's say I know it's windsock once you click that arrow it's gonna run it's gonna attempt to fix it uh, as they said they they don't promise to fix everything but they sure do try it's a solid five stars on major geeks it's very easy to use they also remind you you might use the Windows built-in troubleshooter if you don't know what you're doing in here that might help and they do warn you some things may not function correctly to your reboots you you may repair something your internet is now broken if it was slightly working before it brings you to your system restore here and as you can see you can start the windows internet troubleshooter as they suggest as well as show some of your settings do your speed pass uh, speed test get your router password remote desktop connection it's really well done so if you were looking to get help remotely you could jump right to it pretty neat there are links to the home page support and that's about it so once again just be careful when you click that it's on so first things first get your system restore just in case you have a problem and there you go so it should be able to fix different things from lost network connections unable to access web page um, DNS lookup problems uh, firewall problems, all sorts of networking problems. You get the Internet Explorer stops working or crashes all the time. It might be able to fix that here. So that's always a handy one too. So once again, back up. Very easy to use. Just be careful. And uh, take a minute and click subscribe if we helped you. And I'd really like if you click subscribe even if we didn't. But maybe next time around, next video, we will be able to help you out. So there you go. There's complete Internet repair. It's totally free. It's a solid five stars. The geeks seem to dig it. Download link will be in the description. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.